My name is Bert Rochelson. I am the Chief of Maternal Fetal Medicine for the system. One of the important things that we focus on is that we take a multidisciplinary approach to the care of the patients. Fetal medicine is a field in itself where the fetus is our patient and we make diagnosis of fetal conditions while the baby is inside the mother's womb. These can be very challenging pregnancies for these women and we guide them along. We also want to give them hope that there are options. Patients are referred to us because there's some maternal or fetal complication uh, going on in their pregnancy. Many of them are sent because they were told never to get pregnant. And my happiest moment is being able to tell them they were wrong. We're the safety net for any of the women or the babies that need advanced, sophisticated care at one of the tertiary centers, we can handle that. We're now responsible for 40,000 deliveries a year. That's an awful lot of women who potentially can have high-risk pregnancies. So patients are sent to us at Northwell because the broad range of clinical expertise that we have here, there's really nothing that we can't take care of. So we work with geneticists, we work with nutritionists, we work with diabetic educators, we work with the pediatric cardiologists, with sonographers, and frequently we have very, very complicated patients with maternal diseases. It could be really bad heart disease or kidney disease or infectious disease. We all get together and we have a multidisciplinary meeting before the delivery and we say, okay, look, this might happen. What are we going to do if that happens? Or that might happen. What are we going to do if that happens? Or this might happen. And so basically we're prepared for whatever can happen and fortunately most of it doesn't, but we're ready for whatever it is. When you do 40,000 deliveries a year, nothing's unusual. So our health system is huge. We get patients from all over. We see a variety of complications, and we have seen so many of these complications that we have actually developed protocols, which are then uniform across the system. So that even if the patient is seen at one of our affiliated hospitals, we will follow the same protocols throughout those hospitals. We are able to utilize the best resources we have available with the latest advancements in technology, with our best ultrasound machines, with the fetal MRI, we've come a long way. We treat our fetus as our second patient. We know all about their conditions even before they're born. Not only do we know their conditions, we are able to treat those conditions before the baby is born. One of the most important things that we can do that we offer patients is to listen to them. People who are under stress want to know that they can talk to somebody that's going to listen to them. And so my team knows that and they do. And they're, I, they are unbelievably dedicated and they're passionate about what they do. What we do here is a personalized care for each patient. We cater to them individually. At the same time, we tap into the resources of the health system, make use of all the diagnostic modalities, subspecialists, and then integrate all that into the care of the patient in a very personalized way. None of us can do this alone. So I think having a, a team approach on a lot of different levels is really critical for us. We have the benefits of a very large system with the clinical expertise in every field imaginable, but it doesn't feel like a big place for the patients. And I think the way, one of the ways we've done that is by having a patient navigator that arranges appointments for the patient, she plans the delivery, she actually, she makes it effortless for the patient. The patient navigator is an individual that really is the glue to our whole system. We really collaborate and work together to get the patient through the delivery to make sure that the anesthesiologist is aware, that nursing is aware, that all of the key players are aware of what's happening and what the plan is when the patient does come in in labor. My goals of care is that each person feels individualized, that each patient's family feels like they're my only patient. I am there to explain everything, and if I can't answer it, I will get the people that can answer it for them. I do think it's important for patients to hear that we care, that we're here for them, and that they always have a phone number and a contact that they can reach out to somebody. So the most gratifying thing in my field is the smiles I see on these patients' faces. When they come to us, they're very scared. But just the moment I tell them, oh, your baby looks healthy, you should see the joy on their face. The smiles when they bring their baby after they've delivered a healthy baby, after they've had many complications during the pregnancy. In one of my offices, I, I had a, a bulletin board of all the pictures of babies that 
patients had sent me over the years. And a, a, a mom would come to me for preconceptional counseling and she'd say, you know, everybody says I shouldn't do this. And I would point to the pictures and I said, that's what they told them. As long as there's a little hope, I'm going to share that with the patient. And that's the beauty of what we do.